In this series, Nick has been tasting foods which will forever be synonymous with specific places in Scotland. This week, he's in Dundee to find out about the city's marmalade heritage. Mention Dundee and you think jute, jam, journalism and marmalade. But why did a preserve made with exotic fruit from far away become synonymous with this industrial Scottish city? The story goes that in the 18th century, a ship carrying a cargo of Seville oranges took refuge from a storm here in the port of Dundee. An enterprising local merchant bought some of the oranges and gave them to his wife, a certain Mrs Keeler, and she turned them into a kind of orange jam, and they called it marmalade. Well, that's the story anyway. In reality, the Keelers adapted an already existing marmalade recipe, adding the characteristic orange rind. They opened their first factory here in Dundee in 1797, and at their height, they were producing over one and a half million pots of marmalade a year, and it was enjoyed all around the world. Marmalade is no longer made in the city of Dundee, but it is still made just up the road in our broth. Oh, I was expecting something altogether more industrial. Well, that was one of the big decisions we made when we came to this factory. Do we keep to the artisan method that we had before, or do we do something of a volume nature? And we decided that the taste differential was so important that we had to keep to the authentic boiling method. This smells absolutely incredible. I mean, how did the guys manage not just to gorge themselves on it? It's that Seville orange. Whoa. It's real fresh orange, isn't it? It's and it's fabulous. boiling away. It's just like being at home, to be honest, and making a marmalade at home. So you've got lots and lots of these copper bottom pans. Yeah. Where does the marmalade go from here? So after here, it goes to the filling section. And so obviously we're going to check it in the laboratory, and then we're going to move it on to the filling section, and we'll see that next. about 170 yards a minute. 170 a minute? Yeah. There's a little bit of that Willy Wonka yes. chocolate yes. factory thing. Tell me a little bit about the process. When I bought the business, I learned very quickly that the copper bottom open pan created a different taste of a product. And if we put really good tasting ingredients in, we knew we made as good as a homemade marmalade. Do you still use the Spanish Seville oranges? Absolutely, and we use them fresh from Spain, and obviously that combination is just the secret. So Paul, why are you still in the northeast? Well, we have to be here for the heritage, of course. And Dundee postcode is still here in our bros, so this is a DD place. <laughs> And therefore, it's absolutely perfect for us to maintain the heritage and to maintain the skills of the people in this town because we employ 150 people now. We're a very significant employer and we really value what they do for us. Now, what about the marmalade itself? Where does it end up? Who, who, who are you selling it to? Well, in the UK, it's obviously going to the major supermarkets and then it goes around the world. From North America, which is one of our biggest customers, to Germany, but also in India, Japan, Russia, Scandinavia. It's an amazing story. Now, what about the future of Mackay's Marmalade? Where is that going to go? Well, the future, I think, is good. I'm really relieved I'm running a heritage business because technology won't change it. It's not like the phone or the camera. The technology moves on. No, the food and the heritage and Dundee will always be in place. So we hope that the history of Dundee will be long and our marmalade making here in our growth will be just as long. Marmalade is something that is very close to my heart. It's what I have most mornings for breakfast on a piece of toast. And I'm something of an aficionado, so... Wow. That is delicious. It's astonishing to think there's a little blast of sunshine in Spain in this jar, along with that industrial past from Dundee. Delicious. Still to come, the Perthshire Oak in line for the award of European Tree of the Year. Obviously it's not the oldest tree in Scotland, it's not the biggest tree in Scotland, um, but what it does have is a...